So if you're a student, you need to check out Notebook LM. It's a brand new product for Google. It's an experimental product, but I think it's one that you'll find to be extremely helpful. So we'll start by going to notebook.lm.google. You can try Notebook LM. So let's get started. You can see that this is a PDF that I found of an old research paper from 1972 with Alan Kay's Dynabook paper. This is something that I'm working on right now. It's a project and I did find this PDF, the original PDF, but as you can see, it's just like an image of a PDF. The text here is not selectable, so it's not like I can copy and paste and, and move this to different places. So what I'm going to do is use Notebook LM as a way to help me digest some of the information that's in that PDF. So I'm here on the Notebook LM dashboard. I'm going to select New Notebook, and I'm just going to give this a title. Okay, now right now you can see that this is completely blank. Now there's a couple things that I can do if I want. I could start by adding a bunch of notes from my research and then do different things with those notes, which you'll see in a second. But instead, what I'm going to do is to select this button that says Add Source, and I'm going to upload that PDF. Okay, so that PDF is now here under my sources. And one of the things you might have noticed is first off, it took the image of that text and it almost is like an OCR reader because it transformed that text into selectable text and characters. Now, if you look closely, you can see it's not 100%, but it's pretty good, probably good enough in order for me to use this to really learn about that PDF article. Let's take a look right over here. You can see that there is a summary of this entire 12 page document. It will summarize the whole thing not just a few pages from the top. Now, the other thing that you can see is that there's also key topics. So it went through, it analyzed the text in this document and it broke it up into key topics. So if I select computers and learning, it's going to give me a summary of that topic. You can see the summary right over here. Now, if I select citations, it will show me the five different spots in the paper where this information comes from. So this can be extremely helpful if you're looking to really understand information in a dense document like this one. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to pin that. And now it's going to add that as a saved note right over here. Now, of course, as I read this, I can write my own notes as well by just double clicking and entering text. Now, there's other things you can do as well in here. It's almost like a chat GPT because at the bottom, you can ask it a question. It will reference that document and give you some information. So I asked what a Dynabook is. You can see the response. That's so I asked what a Dynabook is. You can see the response that's right over here as well as those citations. So I'm going to go ahead and let me pin that again. Okay, so here are the two notes that I was able to make from that one PDF. It's right over here. I can always go back through here and ask more questions, make more notes. The other thing I can do is add additional sources. So instead of just one PDF, I can have multiple PDFs. All of the notes will show up in this location. And here's where it really gets interesting because once the notes are here, there's a number of different things you can do. You can see that there's a checkbox in the top right corner. There's there's a number of things that I can do. Help me understand, critique, create an outline, or suggest related ideas. So I can do this, but select multiple notes. So from here, let me go ahead and do create an outline. So now it's going to generate another note that you're seeing the left hand side of the screen, which is the outline based on those two notes. And here is the outline right over here. Now, if I go back here, select these again, another thing I could do is create a study guide. And it's going to do the same thing based on those two notes. There's now a new note that's been generated as a study guide right over here where it breaks down the central questions to review, as well as a glossary of terms at the bottom of that note. Okay, so let me try something. I'm going to take this note right over here, I'm going to go to the bottom, and I'm going to ask it to create multiple choice review questions. And there they are. You can see the review questions. 
right over here as well and then the citations are here which will help give me find the answer for each of those questions again i can take this copy this paste it to wherever else i would need to so so many really interesting possibilities with notebook lm by google it's kind of like a virtual notebook meets chat gpt and again if you're a student i really think that this will help make your life a lot easier so thank you for watching this video if you like this type of content please feel free to subscribe